scrolling on Pinterest and I'm feeling inspired to go op shopping. So I want to find anything colorful, any jewelry, like rings and like necklaces and stuff. Um, anything like Copenhagen vibes like this. Um, I just want all of it, but I'm going in with a clear mind. I'm not looking for anything in particular, right? because then I won't find anything. Um, so colorful, bright, fun, mixy matchy vibes. It's raining, awesome. Okay, who cares? Day. I want to show you guys what I got from the op shop. Okay, this one might be my favorite. Like, oh, this is the best. This one is another favorite, and there's so much of it. Five meters for a dollar, like as if. Oh, this one is so perfect. Okay, yeah, I'm in love. This one, oh, it does have a little stain, but who cares? I don't really care about that. And then this one, which is six meters, and that's like, this is gonna give oversized scrunchy vibes because that's quite thick. <gasps> and I'm imagining like, like the double layered, like lace on this side, lace on that side. You know what I mean? Okay, this one, yeah. That, let me take it out. That is just, and last one is this cute little red one. I thought this would look cute with like a beigey sort of scrunchy and then this just on the outside. Or something patterned. It's very red. I feel like I like the maroon one more, but it's cute. So now, oh, let me show you what inspired me. So I recently went to DIY Daisy's bead workshop, which was so fun. But at the end, she just gave us all little scrunchies that she'd made and I got this one literally so perfect this is also the perfect size i reckon because you kind of put it in and then you can just see it like poking through like that she did a tutorial for these on her website so for one of them i'll follow that just so i can make it like exactly like this and then i've seen a few other ones on tiktok and like pinterest and stuff so all right so i'm gonna get all my sewing stuff out let's make a scrunchie i'm feeling this one first this one's my favorite i just feel like yeah start with this I don't have any scrunchies that are this color and that with like a I don't know you know I'm gonna use my favorite one so I'm just gonna get my ruler and just do a little mark at the 10 centimeter there just to make sure everything's even got two of those they should be the exact same measurements lay one of them down so now we'll get our lace oh this is so pretty I'm obsessed okay so once you've got your lace we're gonna want to kind of face this inward just do a pin there just to hold it in place so just start pinning all the way down that over the top now it's time to sew so I'm gonna get this up off the floor okay so now we're just gonna do a straight stitch all the way down sandwiching in that lace
Okay, so that's one side done. If you open it up, you can see that the lace has just been sandwiched in there like that. So now we'll do the other side. So once you've sewn both sides closed, we're going to turn it inside out. Okay, cute. So yours should look like this. Um, so now we're going to sew the elastic channel down the middle. So this is my elastic and now I'm just going to eyeball how big my casing should be. Literally should just fit this elastic. So just sewing all the way down once and then twice. So I've done one straight stitch all the way down. So now I'm kind of just going to line up my foot on like this side of the foot on that line and that's how big I want my channel to be okay so now you can see I've made that casing there so that's where the elastic's going to go so let's thread that through now so I want mine to be a decorative scrunchie so I don't really need it to go around my bun like two or three times I just want it to go around once. So I honestly think that that is the perfect length for the elastic. And I'm just gonna stitch the elastic in. So I'm just gonna do a French seam to close this up. So just putting these two together. And then we'll turn it the other way. Now we'll just fold it there and then straight stitch down. Day, I'm about to go to the shops I need to find the perfect jean like a dark wash comfy not tight at all my Levi's are so tight um, not too wide not too skinny just perfect this is gonna be a long day because jean shopping is so hard for no reason <laughs> 